Plumbing math. I know plumbing math scares the heck out of a lot of people. It's really funny though, I came up open shop, so I really wasn't worried about it. I had no idea there was math involved with plumbing. But once I got into the trade, I learned it's really not that hard. I came in from open shop. Now open shop, literally, there's not a lot of book work. There's not a lot of training. There's not a lot of stuff going on like that, unless you work at a really large company that really does a lot of things to help you grow that way. I believe in training. Not just the training that I do here, but I believe you can actually get plumbing training from some great organizations out there that really do a good job. What I'm going to do today is I want to teach you one of the cool tricks that I learned once I got into plumbing. And it's how to figure out the piece that you need to cut for a 45 degree offset. And if you hang around till the end, I'm going to show you the same thing for a 22 degree offset. Now, first of all, I'm gonna use plastic fittings today because they're really easy to use. These are 45s. They're also called eighth bends. The reason being, if you take eight of these and put them together, you make an entire circle. It's a complete 360 degree loop. These on the other hand are 22 and a half bends, also called 16th bends. The reason being, as you can see, it would take 16 of these to make a full circle. So two 22 and a halves equal a 45. Look, I'm an old school plumber. Literally, I learned to plumb by holding up a tape measure, eyeballing things, putting it right where it went, putting it right where it went and say, okay, that needs to be seven and a half inches. And you know what? Really? I'm pretty good at it. That's easy to do on a small project where you've got a piece of pipe coming up here. There's a hole over here. It's real easy to just hold it up there and eyeball it. Once I got on bigger projects, I started realizing, okay, this is going to be hard to do. But luckily for me, once I got into the union, I started learning the formulas. It's really easy to do. Basically, what you're going to do, you're going to try to lay out your marks on the floor. Now, you can use a plumb bob. You can use a laser. Maybe you pull hard dimensions off of a wall. But what you're trying to figure out is what is your center to center. Meaning, if I've got a piece of pipe coming up right over here and it goes up over here, as long as I can figure out what my center to center is. So if I shoot a laser up from here and measure over to center, or if I drop a plumb bob down from over here and measure to center, now I know what my center to center is. There's a thing you have to go through and do, but it starts with that. Know what your center to center is. Once you do, you're going to multiply your center to center measurement times 1.414. And the reason you're going to do that, that's going to give you your piece. That's going to give you the entire length from center to center. Now what you're going to have to do, though, you're going to have to come back and you're going to have to subtract out makeup. Say that we had 10 inches center to center. I'm going to take 10 inches, which I can do that one in my head, but you're going to do the math and you're going to realize that that equals 14.14 inches. So then what you're going to do there's two different ways to do it. You can look and mark where center is on your fitting and measure. That way you see the exact dimension. Now, something that I'm going to do here, I've gone onto Google. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. Go to Charlotte Dimensional Catalog. If you go to it and you click on it and actually scroll down, you've got a list here of all the dimensional catalogs. Now, I'm using PVC DWV fittings for both these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. And I already know that if I scroll down to about page 34, 36, somewhere around in there, there we go. Here's my 45 degree fitting. This is the eighth bend that I was talking about. And this is a two inch fitting. So if you look, you can tell right here, one and a half inches is my dimension. So from inside the fitting right here where your pipe makes up to the center of the 45 is one and a half inches. The reason you need to know this is you're going to take that 14.14 inches and that's going to let you know how much you need to subtract. So you're going to take your 14.14 inches, you're going to subtract an inch and a half twice. The reason being, when you put these two fittings together, you're going to have an inch and a half up here and you're going to have an inch and a half down here. So whenever you do that, you've got to subtract that out. So you're going to take 14.14 inches, you're going to subtract three and that's going to give you of course, 11.14. That's a good thing because now I know what I need to do to cut. So I'm going to go to an inch fraction calculator, make it really easy, take your decimal and enter 11.14 equals 11 and 9 64 Now, of course, that's not on your tape measure. That would literally come out to 11 and four and a half 30 seconds. Or we can scroll down here and see that 11.14 is just over 
one eighth of an inch. That's going to let you know right where you need to be. If you cut your piece after you take off your makeup like that, this is going to fit together and you're going to line up right on your hole. They do make calculators that will convert everything for you right down to fractions on a tape measure. This is a good thing to look at though. That way you know if you're tight enough that you've got room, maybe you need to go up just a hair or down just a hair. This will put you right where you want to be. Here's what's cool about this. You can literally do the same thing with a 22 and a half degree fitting. What you've got to do, it's a different number. So on a 22 and a half degree fitting, we're going to take that same inches, 10 inches, and we're going to multiply by 2.613. Now that's going to give me 26.13 inches and we're going to do just like we did a while ago. We're going to go back to the fittings and now we're going to go down to a 16th bend, the 22 and a half degree L right here. On two inch, your makeup is 11 sixteenths. So now I'm going to go over here to the engineering toolbox, the inches fractional to decimal calculator. I've got 11 sixteenth is 0.6875. So I'm going to subtract 0.6875 equals minus 0.6875 equals 24.755. So basically, I know that's just over 24 and three quarters of an inch. To learn to do this is really good. I promise you, having a good calculator out in the field, and I'm using the iPad so I can show you different things, and I'm using this chart on here. Guys, they make calculators, and we've got one from Calculated Industries, Construction Master Pro, that's phenomenal. We'll put a link to it down here, because I'm telling you, to get these numbers right, but to know the formulas is huge. This is gonna help speed up your job and your process, and help you hit the right spot every single time you do it. So if you've known this formula and you know how to do this, leave me a message down below and let me know how good has it worked for you. Because this is one thing that, once I learned it, I used it a lot. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.